Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Top five, I'm, yeah, we're at top five self-treatments. We were changing the numbers for a while, so oh, I'm not sure where we're going with this. Top five self-treatments for tailbone pain, which is your coccyx, mm -hmm. and they also call it coccydenia, because denia means pain. Sure. So pale, pain in your tailbone. Is that Latin? That's a good question. I don't know. I think it is. All Anyways, right. maybe someone can comment on that. Uh, maybe one of the persons who just wandered in can comment I on it. I see more than one, Bob. I All see right. 1,002. Yay. <laughs> um, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy and fit and pain-free, and we upload every day. Subscription button here or there. And also, please go over to Facebook and like us because... Brad and I have a severe problem with uh, not being able to be liked. And, right, and, uh, right. So, yeah. That looks Maybe nice. they'll like me if I look like that. I'm glad, by the way, as a disclosure, nobody sat on that yet. So well, you, I know. You, it's, it's okay for you to we do that, We just Brad. pulled it out of the box. <laughs> so, all right. So this we get a lot of questions on this, Brad. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, this is an injury that I think is fairly common. Um, let's, let's first talk about where the injury occurs. Sure. So you've got your low back here. Brad's going to use this as a kind of a backdrop, backdrop so that the black, it'll show up better. So this is your low back. I'm facing, the person will be facing that way. Right. Yep. And right below it is the sacrum. All right. And then right below that is the little coccyx, this little bone right here. It's all fused together. It's got one little joint there. Now, normally when you sit down, the coccyx does move forward like this just a little bit mm -hmm. um, and kind of it actually acts a little bit as a shock absorber, Brad. The other point I want to make is that it's not just hanging out in the air like this. Right. It has muscles and ligaments and tendons. I mean, it's, it actually gets filled in here with muscles, and that's yes. going to become important later. Right. This is well supported. Yeah, it's well supported. When you, when you get an injury, let's say you fall onto your butt, um, one of the things that can happen is it can actually get, uh, it can get fractured or it can get pushed forward like this. Yeah. Like that, probably not that far, but uh, just to, you know, for visual purposes, I want you to right, see what it like. Right. Or it can actually go this way, Brad. Go out. Yep, Ugh. and that can happen in childbirth with, with, during labor. Ugh. Yeah, you yep. can see that. Um, it can also go off to the side. Yep. I heard one guy say, uh, one uh, practitioner say it always goes off to the left. He doesn't know why, but it tends to be more off to the left. Okay. Um, it can also rotate. And this is something, obviously, you can see in x-rays. Right. It's a bone. Or it could do a combination of any one of those. Sure. So, but all that, uh, and a lot of times these get, tend to get better on their own. Mm -hmm. You know, it take, may take a couple of weeks or a month. But uh, if they don't, it may be the muscles around them that right. are, are, are acting up and spasming on you. And, and I don't know if you found, but I know from real patients, um, as well as my wife, had this. Oh, did she? It, it, was, it was more than a month. It was a number of months. Oh, was it? Yeah. It can be slow healers. I think it depends on how you treat it. Well, it was a number of months because she didn't do the, the top five things that we're going to well, mention Well, she today. didn't ask me. <laughs> I got All in right. trouble. I think we can. Okay. So what are the, some of the common injuries? Uh, obviously, the fall onto your bottom would do it. Sure. What we already talked about during labor. Um, it can happen. Um, I suppose maybe right. a baby with a big head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Th this is common, in, I think, in snowboarders. Oh, yeah, Because they, they fall backwards and with their feet into the boards right on their butt, and it's typically ice, and I know they have pads, special pads in their uh, gear to help prevent that. Cause also people who ride horses, Brad. Oh, I can and believe that. you can see that because yeah. they're bouncy, bouncy, mm -hmm. bouncy. Uh, <laughs> uh, and and less... less um, Common causes would be an actual fracture when you when you fall, but also there can be. I mean, this is why we want to get checked out by a doctor sometimes. Mm -hmm. If there was no event, um, if you just start having pain there, there you can have a malignancy or a tumor there. Sure, a mass, and, and it could also be an infection. Mm -hmm. So, and sometimes it just they just show up. They sure, really don't know why. The things so, happen unexplained with yeah, human so. bodies. So we got kind of our, now these are the self-treatments you can do. There's other things you can try if your self-treatments don't work. And we'll, we'll talk about those when we're done. But let's start off with number one. The first thing you do, Brad, is just you want it to try to get it to calm down a little mm -hmm. bit. And so to get it to calm down, you're going to try some ice just for a short period of time. Brad's got the ice pack here. Yep. You're going to sit on that, Brad? Sure. That'll, that'll wake me up, Bob. You remember the old uh, Happy Days show, Ooh. Brad? It, Oh, of course, yeah. Fonzie. Yeah. Yeah, but what they always say, sit on it. Oh. Wasn't that the joke? Uh, 
Sit on it. I don't know. That's a long Sit time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get on with this. All right. Show, next Bob. thing, is, so you're gonna, I'd also take a maybe mm. a natural anti-inflammatory or like ibuprofen. Sure. Um, and, and just maybe hit it pretty hard for three days. Right. And see if that calms right. it down. All right. After that, after that, or during that period of time, you do want to make sure you're not putting pressure on that area. Right. And generally, people find that it hurts when they're sitting on it, and it hurts more actually, Brad, when you lean back. Yep. If you lean forward a little bit, it, it often takes the pressure off the area. So we're going to show you two sitting solutions. One is obviously just to buy a donut. Sure. And like Brad said, it's 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 clean yet. Yeah. Nobody sat on it yet. Th this one is nice because it has the circle. And if you look at it this way, there's actually a groove here and here, which is going to allow some space for the coccyx to be relieved. Yeah. And this um, I'll put the link below. Um, they also provided us with with uh, some other. It's called Ergonomic Innovations mm -hmm. is the company, and uh, um, th it's a really well made, nice nice device. Thanks it is. For, thanks for sending us to it. Yeah, to it's, it's got a good density to it. It's not like some of them are real soft and you go <laughs> they squish yeah. right in. So yeah. yeah, well built. So the second thing I need a pillow, Brad. Do you mind pillow? That Brad gonna, loves this. He loves I'll, to throw a pillow at me. Throw you a pillow. <laughs> So if you don't have one of those and you're in a pinch right now, you just fold the pillow in half like this, and then you're going to sit on it, and you're going to sit to the point where your that coccyx is is off the pillow. Let's do a so, profile yeah. with, with that. Well, if you can see it on here, get that in there. So now you can see my I'm, there's no pressure on the coccyx. Right. So this air, you're right back in here, is open which, you know, takes the pressure off it, which is uh, good. A yeah, good thing in a sore coccyx. I, we, I had a person that commented one time that it saved him on a plane. That he's oh, really? Like, yeah, he, 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 he went and made the flight, he oh, said. Oh, sure, I so, can believe it. You really want to avoid putting pressure on that area. All you're doing is firing up the muscles there. So, mm -hmm. so step number three, then, is we're going to try some heat. Now, you can try a regular heating pad, um, but... What we think would work even better is um, the Thermotex sure. infrared, far infrared. Because it goes deeper. Right, much deeper. Mm -hmm. um, normal heating pads just go a couple millimeters. Sure. This goes up to 60 millimeters, which is two point, remember Brad, 2.36 inches. Yeah, yeah 2.36. 2 <laughs> yep. Whatever, over over two inches is pretty good. So that, that can get into those muscles on that pelvic floor. Right. Which, one, one thing I, I would say is if you fell on it, it's very sore. I would not use heat until after a few days. Right, and that's why we talk about the ice first. Right, exactly. Yeah, very good point, Brad. Um, this, uh, the way the Thermotex works, and we'll put a link below, it's got a hard pad, and that's the side that you actually would sit on. Right. This is the platinum model, which is nice because you could use it all over the body. Right. You know? But, again... What I like about it, Brad, it doesn't have to conform completely to your bottom mm -hmm. um, in order because it, it's going to go through no matter what. It's right, gonna, it's whether gonna, it's an airspace. Right. You're going to get that two and a half inches or close to it of depth. Right, and that, to me, there's, there's certain cases where something like this really pays for itself, and this is one of them because you're just not going to get deep enough with regular heat. Right. So, all right, moving on. Number uh, four, you could actually try a combination of the two. Sure. Because, again, we're trying to calm those muscles down. So contrast. Yep, contrast. Mm -hmm. um, we could do the heat, and then you could do the ice. Right. So I don't know how long would you – the heat probably – it takes like 10 minutes for this to warm up. Um, so I would probably have it on for about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, you could sit on it so you can – Right, you watch can, TV, you know, read a do book. Do your work. And, and then you could throw the ice on for maybe 20 minutes. Right. So, I don't think you need to go more than that, but if it was me, I would always finish with the cold pack. Um, but it could sure. be, you can do it however works best for yeah, you. Yeah, you want to experiment to exactly. see what works best for you. And number five, you're going to want to try to eventually set up like a sitting schedule. You want to see, you know, when it starts to feel a little bit better, start sitting, and when it starts to hurt, you get up. Right. You're no longer, and you might even keep a chart sure. of, of, you know, how long you can go. And maybe what sitting surface you were on right. when, when you were doing this. They could make an app for this. I think there actually is an app for this, Brad. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Believe what it or not, yeah. Appers do. Wow. So if after you do all those things, things just don't go get better. They you can do, you know, they do have injections. Um, this is not an area that I'm an expert in by any means, but I've known therapists that were. If you go to a probably a larger hospital and, and, and ask, do they have a pelvic floor physical therapist? Believe sure. It or not, mm -hmm. I, yep. I, 
I knew two therapists when I worked at Mayo. That's all they did is they right. worked on the pelvic floor. Right. And uh, um, th they would maybe be able to help you with the muscles around exactly. it. Exactly. Um, also, um, there, I think there are some osteopaths or chiropractors that actually do manipulation of the bones. Yeah, I've, I've heard of that too, and it's, Again, it's not invasive. A, it's a yeah, little, yeah, yeah. And then number four, a last resort by all means would be surgery. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think they actually go in and actually remove the coccyx sure. sometimes. Uh, and so, I think that's pretty rare. It is pretty rare, uh, but they do, it is done right. sometimes. Yep. So. All right, Brad, I think we, we got out through all of them. Wow. And, um, we got through it once again, Bob, once again. I'm thinking this could help cause for our dilemma. Well, I mean, for our, Brad can I, and I can fix just about anything except We're a broken heart. Right, but I'm thinking this can help somehow. I have no lay idea how that. that would help. How right. would that help? So I'll think about it. You Brad, know, I'm pretty creative. Brad, how would that creative. help? Just <laughs> really. Right. Just Thanks for watching.